Hello all. Since I have a microtonal Halberstadt keyboard, I'm creating scale videos for equal temperaments 11 to 19, since these are small enough to be played similarly to standard tuning. Each equal temperament has its own video, and goes over two full scales in every key. I present what I think the most logical fingerings are, based on various criteria. My goals were to try and preserve fingerings from standard 12 equal tuning to make logical decisions about scales that are in uncharted territory technique-wise, and to create similar fingerings for all scales so that less has to be learned. If you're a piano player and these scales don't make sense to you, I recommend you look at the 12 equal video I did on this to compare conventions, naming schemes, etc. In new situations involving crossing the thumb to black keys, which is sometimes necessary in these new layouts, I stuck to two main principles. Firstly, when crossing with the thumb, I only go from a black key to a black key. It's much better to cross from a black key to an adjacent black key than to cross to a black key from a white key. Secondly, I tried to cross onto black keys using finger 2 when possible. It's simply much less awkward because the hand doesn't have to scrunch up as much for the cross, and so it can afford to be less precise. If you would like the fingering charts, you can become a patron of my podcast at the link in the description. This is the video for piano fingerings in 11 tone equal temperament. The two scales I've picked to represent this tuning are Organ 7 and Machine 6. When I play a scale, I'll highlight the notes from the scale in pink. The tonic note will be a slightly darker shade of pink than the other highlighted keys from the scale. I'll play through two octaves to show how fingers cross into the next octave, and or how fingerings can be slightly changed at the ends of the scales to reduce crossing. Organ is a seven note scale with four large steps and three small steps. The large steps span two degrees of eleven, while the small steps span one degree of eleven. I'll be playing this mode. Two, one, two, one, two, two, one. Since organ is a seven note scale, we can use fingerings from 12 tone equal temperaments diatonic scales. Only five fingerings from 12 equal diatonic scales are actually needed to play organ seven in every key. The fingerings from F, G flat, D flat, B flat minor, and B. Here are the scales. Machine is a six note scale with five large steps and one small step. It's the albatonic scale of this 11 tone layout because you can play it on the white keys, like the C major scale in 12 equal. The large steps span two degrees of 11, while the small step spans one degree of 11. I'll be playing this mode, two, 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 one. Since machine is a six note scale, there's two logical ways to split things up to repeat every octave. We can split fingerings into groups of 3 plus 3, or 4 plus 2. I also tried to do it in such a way that certain chunks of the scale feel familiar to other diatonic scales. Because of my guidelines about black keys, any scale that crosses to a black key is automatically a 4 plus 2, since it crosses to 2 on the necessary cross there. 
There are some 4 plus 2 fingerings that don't cross to a black key for ease of playing. Thanks for watching! If you would like to support giant, extravagant microtonal cover songs, keyboard arrangements of Easley Blackwood's microtonal etudes, microtonal podcasting, educational videos on ear training and modes, or music composition, you can donate to my Now and Zen Patreon account. I need 60 patrons by December 1st, 2020 to continue in my microtonal podcast, Now and Zen. It's always appreciated. Here is the link in the description. This video is made possible by my Zen Harmonic patrons, as well as my Zen Harmonic gods. Matthew Sheeran, Kit Duguay, Hector McGuffin, Christopher Bailey, Leland O. Weigel, Amy Coleman, Jill Weigel, Tina Harmon Carteau, and the Brass Whisperer. Thank you all very much. Looking forward to the next video.